Good evening guys and welcome back to another video here from Slovakia. We're currently in the capital city of Slovakia, which is Bratislava. Uh, and of course, here in Bratislava, we're gonna try some traditional Slovakian food. I'm really excited to show you guys what Slovakia has to offer because the food here is amazing. It's really traditional, it's really good. And there's some unique dishes here in Slovakia that you won't find anywhere else in the world. So I really wanna show you guys that. Um, and I'm really excited because I'm very, very hungry and I'd love to get started eating. So let's go ahead and start this food day here in Bratislava, Slovakia. Can I get the, the schnitzel? schnitzel burger? Chicken. 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 Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right, first stop of the day, we've come to a place known as the Schnitzel King, which is interesting because the lady who serves is actually a lady, not a man. So it should be the Schnitzel Queen, not the Schnitzel King, but maybe she's his wife. I don't know. Maybe she's the Schnitzel, Schnitzel Queen. Maybe the Schnitzel King owns the store, but the Schnitzel Queen is serving the food today. Um, but what I've gotten is a Schnitzel burger. Now, look at that Schnitzel. It is beautiful. It's crispy. It's beautiful. I mean, just look at that. And she just stuffs it with tomato, lettuce, ketchup, um, mustard, everything. And it's so hot. It's piping hot. I don't know how they make it so hot, but it looks really, really good. I want this chicken schnitzel. I crave a chicken schnitzel. So let's go ahead. Give this a try. Oh, that right there is perfection. The schnitzel fried perfectly. The chicken, it's not dry because it's such a thin layer that you barely get any chicken, but that's a good thing because if you had a big chunk of chicken, it would be really, really dry. So it's a good thing that it's such a thin layer of chicken battered perfectly. I love the mustard, I love the mayonnaise. No, not the mayonnaise, but the ketchup together. Great combination, the mustard brings a little bit of spiciness. The freshness of the lettuce and the tomatoes, incredible. The bread, it's not very toasted on the inside, but it is really toasted on the outside, which makes it kind of like harder to chew through. But still, nonetheless, for four euros, this is a great burger to have. It's a great deal. The chicken schnitzel, like I said, the schnitzel itself. That's what you come for. It is delicious. And it's quite a big mouthful. Like you really have to like uh, expand your mouth because there's so many ingredients it's loaded up. And the way she served it, I, know, I thought it was just like a little burger. No, it's overflowing so much. She has to put in like a little packet. It's a packet burger because it's so, so stuffed with so many ingredients, but absolutely highly recommend. Great, great food here. Um, so schnitzel burger, I love it. And we're gonna go ahead and see what else we can get to. All right, next stop of the day, we've come to a little restaurant here in the old town here in Slovakia called Gladius. I mean, we're not exactly in the old town yet, but we're getting close to it. And there's something I've wanted to try here in Slovakia that is garlic soup. Slovakia is very famous for their garlic soup. It's something that's really common and I really wanna try it out. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that's good. That is really, really, really good. Very, very garlicky, but if you drink this, you're gonna scare vampires away for a very long time. There's some croutons here. I'm gonna pour them in just like that. And let's go ahead and try it with the croutons. So good. That is amazing. I love how garlicky, and at the same time creamy it is. It's shocking to me that that garlic flavor is so infused into a soup. I've never had garlic soup before. This is my first time ever having garlic soup in my life. Never had anything like it before. Really, really unique. That is delicious. It is really, really good. Um, I'm gonna finish this up. We've got another dish coming, so I'm excited to show you guys that. So let me finish this up, and then I'll show you what's next. All right, next up, we've got pork goulash, and it's accompanied with this bread called nedla. I think it's what it's called, but it's very, very interesting. It's like a white, soft bread. I'm just gonna first go ahead and try out the goulash because it looks really, really good. And the sauce, I mean, look at that orangish color. Apparently there's a bit of paprika in it, so it looks really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and just try the goulash just by itself. I have never had pork 
melt in my mouth until now. That is, without a doubt, the best pork dish I've ever had in my life. It is so soft, it is so tender. The sauce, it's a bit like spicy, but not like heat spicy, but flavor spiced. Oh, that is incredibly amazing. That is delicious. The pork just melts. It literally disintegrates when your tongue touches it. That's how soft it is. It just disintegrates when your tongue touches it. It is so soft. Now, obviously to try the nedla, which is the bread, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a bit of it. I'm gonna dip it inside the sauce. Let's see if I can put some of that pork right on top. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, wow. The bread, it's soft, fluffy, cloudy almost like. It's really, really fluffy. I mean, you can just see how fluffy it is right here. And dipping in that sausage just soaks it all up. What I didn't tell you is that there are onions inside with the pork mixed in. Onions caramelized to perfection. They absolutely melt in your mouth with the pork. I mean, overall this dish, it just melts. That's the thing, it melts. It's really, really good in that sense. It just disintegrates when it enters your mouth. With the bread, it melts even more, but the bread soaks up the flavor, so it really, really tastes good. It is incredibly delicious, but I just love putting that bread to bake it right inside the sauce because the sauce is delicious. Like I said, a bit of that paprika, a bit of that spice really makes a massive difference to the entire dish. But this right here, this is amazing. And I'm absolutely loving the goulashes that we've had here in Slovakia. I know goulash is a traditionally Slovakian dish, but a lot of Slovaks eat it and it has sort of become a traditional dish. I know it originally started from Hungary, but it's really become a Slovakian thing and it is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna eat this up. The bread is amazing. The sauce is amazing. The pork melts in your mouth. It doesn't get much better than that. So let me finish this up. We are now in the old town here in Bratislava. And I have to say, first off, it's beautiful. And also that meal just now, amazing. I mean, for the total price of like 11, 12 euros for the soup, the garlic soup, so, so good. And then of course the delicious, delicious um, goulash, that pork goulash. I mean. I've never had pork goulash that delicious. I've never had pork goulash that literally melts in your mouth. I've just never had that before. That was truly exceptional. Um, I think it's time for dessert. It's really, really hot in Barcelona. It's like 29 degrees. I think it's time for ice cream. So let's go find some ice cream. Thank you. Thank you, very Thank much. you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right, final food of the day. We've come to a place known as Il Noni. It's an Italian gelato place. And according to the person who works there, she said that the most popular flavor is pistachio. And I know that pistachio is a very common ice cream flavor here in Eastern Europe and in the Balkans. So it's 29 degrees. I've got cold ice cream in my hand. Life doesn't get better than this. Let's go ahead and try out the ice cream. It looks delicious. It's green in color, obviously, because it's pistachio. But let's go ahead and try it out. Ooh, whoa. I had pistachio ice cream in Albania, but this pistachio ice cream, it's not just pistachio flavor, but it's roasted pistachio flavor. You got a kind of like a, a saltier taste to it, as if it was like salted pistachios, which is really, really interesting. I mean, I, I before Albania, I never had roasted pistachio, like pistachio ice cream before, but here it's kind of like roasted in flavor. I don't know how they make it, and this is dripping, but, it's really, really good. I love the pistachio flavor. It's really, really nutty, really, really roasted. It's like a toasted pistachio flavor, and I love that. It's delicious. I love it. And also, they gave us a little wafer on the top. It's incredible. Like, literally doesn't get better than this. Um, anyways, I know there's a pretty short food tour here in Bratislava. We just got into the city, so I just wanted to try out some of the local food here, show you guys some of the, the, the things, you know, like a schnitzel, which was delicious, by the way. The schnitzel was amazing. And of course, goulash and garlic soup, which is a very traditional thing here, only in Slovakia. It's a very traditional national dish in Slovakia. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. This ice cream is about to melt all over my hands, so I'm going to end the video right here. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. We will have more videos here from Slovakia. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.